It is now the second day of the third round. Anyway, folks, hello and welcome back to some more Fate Extra. On our last episode, we had met our third round opponent, and we lost him by the name of Alice. Completely the opposite of what we had fought last time. Because in the second round, we had an elderly bloke. Now I have a wee young lass that we're just frolicking around with and whatnot. And we're on decent terms except for the fact that, you know, she's thinking about breaking us of her big old buddy. Wish we had Sean. Holy moly, that thing is broken. I don't even think you could beat it down even if you were somehow level 99. Who knows though, I mean it does have for like 3,000 damage though, right? Anyway, there was also an event prior to that, but that is a subject that we could touch upon in the future. So, let's just continue hands forth nonetheless. Suddenly, I think I hear someone calling to me. Something feels wrong about the hallway, even though it looks the same as always. A person in the distance? It must be my imagination. No, there's actually someone there. It's a man all in white. He walks toward me slowly, flickering as if he's not all there. Why, hello there. Are you an apparition of sorts? Or a spectre? Who knows? A cyber ghost, I see. The cat voice jerks me back out of the trance and back to reality. Leo is standing next to me. Did he see the apparition too? If it was an apparition... There are several trillion memories of lies, from bacteria to humans stored in the Seraph. In that way, the Seraph resembles that primordial sea from which the unicellular organism sprung. Just as those bacteria grew into humans, so too do the conditions of Seraph allow for evolution. That sort of life form must have been generated from information evolving in the Seraph. It's merely an echo of someone who once lived. It's harmless data. Don't worry about it. Right! So now it's evening. Master, in regards to yesterday's episode, I recommend that we exercise caution today. We should also strive to find out more about that berserker. That's a good idea. I should find out if that thing Alice summoned is even a real berserker. That is a point. That was a big boy. And until I figure out if those girls are twins or not, I have no idea how our battle will unfold. First of all, should I hunt down Alice or should I find someone who might know more about her? For the time being, I think I'll take Saber's advice and be a bit more cautious than usual. Yeah. That would be a fantabulous idea. Right, so hello, buddy old pal. Hey, Dave. Far be it from me to criticize your hobbies, but, um... Frolking with your opponents is pretty freaking inappropriate. It's not my fault, man. She's too adorable. Right. So. There are a few things that we're going to be doing in this particular day. There's going to be a lot of interference and whatnot. But before we do all of those, we're going to head to the first floor. Mainly because this is what we missed out prior. And we need this for when we next head into the arena. Because it's for Tiger's side quest. Anyway, you want the mic scene back? Are you saying you're going to take away my comic book? Well, I'll do it, but only under one condition. My server wants a large cauldron. Bring me one and I guess a part of my beloved comic book. Because we could have done this prior, and we could have actually had the comic book yesterday, but we didn't. So that is most unfortunate. So we have to actually do a series of little mini fetch quests. Well, we'll read to some people right now. It looks like that little kid made it for life too. But seriously, I question his taste and predictions for using an avatar like that. I mean, what creepy little troll just seven him disgusts me. Sure, sure. Oh, hello there, Alice. Hey, mister, let's play together again today. I want to play hide and seek on the campus. All right, I'll also go and hide, and you have to come and find me. Master, this might be a good chance to gather information. Let's do our best in this game. <laughs> I'm soft, child. I'll see through to what you really are. For all the, the dire warnings, Saber seems really enthusiastic about this, but I can see why. I didn't see her. Huh? She'll be hiding somewhere on campus. I'd better go look for her. Oh, not quite yet. Do, 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 do. Why, hello there. Wait, no. Oh. Let's talk to this man right now. I have to mention that playing games with the opposing master is highly irregular. No, it's not my place to judge. Results are all that matter. Okay, say. Oh, I'm right. She's adorable. Anyway, hello there, Ronnie. What are you doing? Playing hide and seek. Playing tag of two bars to say. Now we're just playing hide and seek, you know? I say I admire you. My professor showed me that the trip hides in the trivia of the everyday. You're always training even at skill, Dave Lyles. <laughs> right, so we need to find somebody to spark this all. 
Okay, I slightly paused at it because I actually forgot what you had to do here. But yeah, yeah it's, it's over here where I have to go. I just been about, so... There's no real need for that, but hello there, Alice. There she is, wearing that overly frilly dress. She looks like she should be at a masquerade ball. No question about it, it is Alice that I see. Oh, Why, you found me? Oh, Dan, I guess Alice loses this time. As a reward, Alice will give something nice. What do you want? Give me something nice? What should I ask for? Who is that red bike? Tell your friend to move, ideally. My friend? Oh, you'll have to ask her about that. Oh, how about a treasure hunt, if you want my friend to move? Find the four blades. Um, you'll need a clue. Oh, here's one. You won't find the four blade in the arena. A blade of legend that no one has ever seen. How will you find it? Can you find it? <laughs> well, good luck. Bye-bye. You did well in gathering some much-needed information. Very well indeed. Now quickly, we must locate this Volvo blade she spoke of. Yeah, we should. We really, really should. Hello there, Ren. You appeared all of a sudden. Oh, what's wrong? You're upset. I heard you've been playing with that girl. Who well, is a Vorpal Blade? Vorpal Blade? I think that's a weapon that has an effect on types of monstrosities. What about? It's limited in its application, so I doubt it'll be of much help. Well, if you do need it, you have to find an alchemist. Sorry, I can't trust me such a thing. Well, you had to find a master alchemist to discuss the matter with them. An alchemist? At least I have a lead. I'll ask some of the other masters. Well, there's always various other characters. Let's just have a talk with this last for now. Ah, oh, Jesus, I thought my servant is truly invincible. He got our opponent in half in the blink of an eye, and not only is he hot, his heart is just wow! Oh, wow! So let's just go to the second floor. Oh. Why, hello there, sir. Wizards at hacking can make almost anything by rewriting an item's information. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a master hacker. I can only do it when no one's watching them. Well, you're gonna make my formal blade. Why not, eh? Formal blade? What's that? Formal blade? Whatever it is, I've never heard of it. Okay. I don't get it. What's that people playing around with the master you have to face? You're either brave or stupid. Why not both? <laughs> How many times was it tell you not to talk to me? Actually, feel free to tell me all about yourself. The favor won't be returned, however. Okay. Gosh. I just wanted to have a little tidbit of a chat. Anyway, hello there, Issei, Ryudo. If you're looking for an alchemist, unfortunately, I cannot help you if you search. But I heard that a place known as the Atlas Intuition Specialist in Alchemy and Astrology. The master photo down the hall is from the Atlas Institution. You should speak with her. Yep. I have to speak with Ronnie. The stars have already aligned. Is this something you need of me? Are you an Atlas Alchemist, Ronnie? Hey. Yes, I have somewhat thorough knowledge of the sketch required in alchemy. But to be accurate, as my professor is the alchemist in either the site or whatever. What is a Vorpal Blade? My professor spoke of the Vorpal Blade as formal way effect only against particular targets. Of the right materials, like... Malachite or Makalai? I think it's Makalai. It's been a while since I've read that. Anyway, I could use the alchemy to affect the arena, but... Right, Ronnie may be friendly to me, but she's also a master of some new things. You know, if I did acquire a Ma Makalai, and Ronnie can transmute it, she has a reason to help me. No, it's alright. I have seen that your style is different from the other masters. It's possible you are the one my professor spoke of. If you bring me Makalai, I'll do my best to transmute it into a football blade. I felt like I saw Makalai somewhere in here. The one her professor spoke of? I don't care, but at least she sounds willing to cooperate. I'll go search for Makalai before she continues her mic. Is it Malachi? Malachi or Makalai? Oh my gosh. The other one with the Serena. A sound and blur. Doesn't sound too pleasant though. Anyway, this is rough. This is probably about license between masters, so do whatever you feel necessary. Okay, buddy. Right. Maybe Ren's got some intel about the item we see. You look troubled, what's wrong? Red does gonna say something weird when I tell her I need Makalai to transmit a horrible blade. Makalai, I see. It's not like I don't have any, but... I don't think she'll give me any. Positive, I'll be rejected. I ask her anyway. Instead of outright rejecting my request, she smiles at me. It's not a good smile. But afraid, I look like a charity organization to you. Don't forget that we're enemies, so you can have it provided you give me something in return. 
I don't think she don't right give it to me, but I'm anxious about what her conditions are. Let's see, in exchange for them. Macolite, you must give me a gem of equal value. How about a large rupee? Oh, something along the lines of that. A rupee needles is that I don't have one in my pocket or anything. Ren knows this my response and she continues in an upbeat tone. I bet earlier I hacked into the commissioner database in order to get some chills. I mean, they're there, but they're surprisingly pricey. Hey, come on, how was I supposed to know they were going to be such a rip off? That's highway robbery! I think our server is making fun of her. She gives us our face after the exchange. <laughs> Well, at least now you know the Commissioner has a large rupee. How you said knowledge is up to you. I feel like I'm getting the short end of the steal, but why else get into it? I better go to the Commissioner. Yeah, to the Commissioner as. Actually, what you got for us, buddy? Have you tried out the old rusty sword or silver earrings? The techniques bestowed by these items can temporarily increase some of your seven stats. Oh yeah, we've been definitely abusing that. And how? Money conquers all welcome to the Sakumihara Academy Commissioner. Yeah, we read L again for some reason. Right. Oh man. Five million. Hmm. A large chamber seriously sold in the commissioner. It's too expensive. I'll pass. A ruby? We actually have one in stock. Oh, why would I order one? Well, you want to buy it? That'll be five million BBD. My, our people do. As I have no choice. The price makes my wallet scream out in agony, but I really need a purple blade. As I stared at the price of disgust, the store clerk said something on the So why don't we make a deal? A staff members would kill from one of the lunches made by Sakura, the school nurse. And fashion for us, those lunches are only for masters like Sam. I don't have to be able to try one just once. <laughs> I could never get the chance. A lunch? Seriously? I mean, is anything we'll mean worth that lunch? Not that I care. Not by delaying. I'd better go to the nurse's office and finish this. <laughs> just to the nervous. There's this office. Ahoy! You know, I saw this for it. Is it? Oh no, as, as, as. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's right here. Hey, Sakura. Give me your lunch, girl. Hello, is something the matter? I have a request. I must look more serious than I realize because Sakura Mato stares at me silently. Can you make me a lunch? The words are clumsy if I do say so myself, but Sakura Mato offers a sweet smile. Of course, the trip is heavy prices during the preceding rounds. Hope we turn them out. I'm afraid I'm not that good at making them yet. Received Sakura's launch, version 0. I take it off the urge to devour the whole gorgeous multi tier to fare on the spot. From when we get in self-control, I get my fancy Sakura Matsu. Alright, off to the commissionary. Yeah, once again. Oh my, could that be one of Sakura's legendary launches? I can't believe you actually got this from me. Why are we impressed? I need over Sakura's lunch, version 0. I am truly grateful for this. As for my side of the bargain, here's the you wanted. I received Ruby in return. Was that really a fair trade? Like I care. Now that I have the Ruby, it's time to push on. If I give this to Rentosuka, I should get some Makalai in return. In theory, anyway. Hello, Ren. Oh, what is it? Don't tell me. Ruby was given to Ren. I had rental to get the ruby I got in the commissionary. From her dumbfounded expression of score, she made the deal as a chug. She gives me the Makalai. Receive Makalai from Ren. I never thought you'd get it, but a deal's a deal. There's not very many of those, so use it carefully. My goodness, now maybe I can get Ren to transmute this for me. Oh my gosh, fetch quest all over the shop. Hello there, Ronnie. We need you, girl. So you have Makalite, that's good cow, it's one very useful to help me. Yeah, we hand it over. After the Makalite bursts open and dissipates, Ronnie opens her eyes. The sword appears in her hands. This is the Vapa Blade, sadly I cannot create one that would last beyond one use. Please use it carefully, it cannot be transmuted twice. Okay, we got the Vapa Blade, thank goodness, now I have a chance against that Berserker. I'll go to the arena after this. Yeah, because we have all the reason to, because we want to finish up that side quest for Taiga as well, because we only have until, like, what, day four? And we also want to get our trigger. So why the heck not, right? Oh. Fetch quests. Woo. Right, so here we go. This is the arena entrance. Should I head inside? Heck yeah, we need to get the trigger. I mean, we could have buffed off our stats by a wee Taj, but we don't really need it right now. So yeah, it's either left or tears of Okay. 
yeah, back into the fray. We have obtained the Vapor Blade Prey, so let's go to where that Berserker is and try it. Soon. Soon, 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 love, because we have yet to gather the cauldron. Now, I did do this off screen to figure out where it was. But. Let's just say I found the area where it was, but I couldn't get because I was like, wait a moment. There's one more thing I was missing. And then I reloaded a previous save. And then it's like, oh, I gotta talk to a person for it. And that's where we are today. Oh, a bunch of enemies, why not? That should be your problem, right? So you gotta guard twice. Yeah! They're not, never mind, sometimes we do though. Okay, we're almost at the point of getting that. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there, right? There'll be a few more enemies that I have to get past, though. That's nothing too major. And then we get to fight that big boy again. As we do have the Vorpal Blade. So we're one of these. I guess this might be apparent. It sometimes likes to guard twice, so. Yeah, okay, there we go. I just got one of them wrong, because I attacked twice. Oh. Well, the tribe is dead, though. Okay, let's just get this. Mm. Obtain cauldron. Now, that item wouldn't have appeared had we not spoken to the side quest. That's why I was confused why it wasn't there, because I was just like, wait a moment. That's normally there. You know? Why did I break twice? Eh, worse comes to worse. I take all the damage. Yeah, attacked. Should have guarded there. And, of course, guard twice, yeah. We can always heal up, though. And then we'll just bop that big boy afterwards. One more item over here that we can obtain, I believe. Yes. Well, that's good, Saber. Very, very good indeed. So now we just need to head all the way over there. Hopefully, the enemies don't respawn as we're heading back, though. So, we got the cauldron. We're gonna have this big boy. We're gonna get the trigger. We're gonna turn in the cauldron. And we're gonna get stuff done. Well, that might be for another day, though. That might be for another day. Because, of course, there will be events that will transpire here. Oh! Managed to disengage from that fight. That's good. Find Dabadozi. Let's just do this top up. Okay, so after finally gathering the cauldron, we are back at the point where we, this big boy was last seen at. And now we can actually fight him. There's magic everywhere, and it swirls even more fiercely the closer I get to the giant monster. At that moment, the verbal blade in my hand starts emitting magic. As enemy servant writhes in anguish, his aura shrinks rapidly. Preto, the enemy's become weakened. I doubt that girl, but she steered us straight. It's quite the powerful magic tool. We can defeat that servant now. Yeah, we're fine, big boy. Oh, look, okay, it's got visible health. Let's just body him, why not? Oh, guard, dude. Well, good thing we did that, because I was actually thinking about attacking. Don't worry, get hit by you again, man. See, look, look at that significantly less damage. 17? In the scary fight, you just get one shot. She's like, nope, you're all to have a fight. 
<laughs> oh, Sokos finished him off. In one turn, nonetheless. A scout. Oh, no, that's going to be a buff. Yeah, that's going to be a buff. No way it ain't. Well, we got to see it. And three cards in a row. Alice Eater. Yep, that's a strength buff. Okay. What up, that? Oh, wow, 23 XP! The servant wails as it disappears. We've repelled it. Uh oh, it's a purple blade. How'd they get that? <laughs> Broly, I wonder how. You win the treasure hunt, mister. Okay, where are we gonna play next? We gotta go think about it again. Alright, bye bye, mister. Hmm, since the little girl showed up, it seems we were not able to finish off the servant. No matter, at least we will now know it. Oh, well, we will now be able to obtain the cipher keys. Oh, you do, love. But okay, our first trigger. Epsilon. We got the cipher key. The Berserker was troublesome. I'm relieved that the key is now ours. I don't think there's much in the way of any more secrets left in here. I think we've largely found everything. So yeah, let's head back. Hopefully I don't regret that. Return to camp is leaving now end your day. Why yes. At angle this time. Maybe before I'm like 99% or something. It's like, no. So what might 100% completion? But we'll see. We'll see. Should be 100%? No, we're not. Oh, we're close, though. We are close. Well, we could always go there at some other point in time. If we don't really need to go to the 4 too much, I think we do have to go there quite a bit, though. Again, we're just going to we're just missed out a little bit. A bloat and whatnot. But yeah. That's the kind of information, actually. Did we get any new info about uh, being like to work ways? No, we did not. Just figured we might have. But anyway, folks, I think I'll cut this one a little bit shorter for now, because this one was short and sweet nonetheless. And that's got pretty, you know, fan conclusion. We beat the big boy, the bully. So anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Fate Extra, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.